how's it going, everybody? What's up, boys and girls? Boy, Karis Mai, playing Odyssey Kane still. Uh, I'm against, well, this is another challenger game. I'm against a Ezreal, Lucian, Zyra, Gragas, Wukong. So, I think we're going to do a little something different. I want you guys to guess which form I'm going to go and why. That's what I want you to do, just to start off the video, because I love reading the comments, I absolutely do. And, you know, the most obvious comments that I see a lot is, am I going to fix my um, uh, quality soon? Definitely. I don't really have the money for it yet, you know. Uh, it, takes a, it takes a little bit to get monetized on uh, on YouTube, but either way. um, Yeah, I'm going to get that fixed soon, don't worry. Uh, other things I've seen is people ask me to show stats after anything. I mean, you can always just look at the OPG. I mean, I could too, but I just don't like that extra time because this is all just like one straight video. It's not like editing. Once I have an editor, I can add in pretty much everything you want. And lastly, I noticed that a lot of people want me to release a guide. Now, that is actually one of my main ideas. I have a lot of ideas, such as doing an unranked to challenger, maybe before the season ends. Um... As soon as I'm unbanned on Twitch, alongside with uploading the guide, as soon as I'm unbanned on Twitch. And if you're curious when I'm unbanned on Twitch, about 8 or 9 days, I'm pretty sure. Um, either way, we're going to get right into this game. We're against a Predator Gragas. A uh, bit of a rough matchup. I already kind of have a really good idea of what form I'm going to go. And you guys should have a good idea too, if you've been uh, watching the videos. And if you haven't, you know, always feel free to click on the other videos. And smash the like button, you know. Actually, you know what? Don't smash it. I don't want you to break your keyboard, because then... I can only, or your mouse, why did I say keyboard? What the heck? Either way, let's focus on the game. So, pretty good leash here. We can start W second. Good, good leash like that. Alright. Alright. Looks like uh, Greg has started up red. Oh wow, that Urga just beat him up real bad. Knowing Gragas's, usually they do like red Krugs to the top scuttle, so we didn't get any early trinkets, sadly. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna. I'll just ping him out, make sure that he's cautious. I can actually one shot this camp right here if I do this properly. I think I wanna clear the bot scuttle and try and gank top. I don't think that AFK farming is gonna win me this game. Cause I already have a set playstyle and idea of what I wanna do. I knew what he, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I think he didn't die there. I wonder if I should have just ran straight bot there. I mean I can go bot now. I lose my top jung there. Uh, Ezreal is probably too low to back me off of the enemy's blue, so I will go for this right now. That's pretty good. Well, I would have a feeling that's gonna happen. Should have pinged him back. It's fine though. No harm, no foul. Alright, well, I mean, I'm pretty big myself, so I'm not really too worried. Uh, it's like, I don't know if they used any sums. I'm sure they didn't. Uh, I'll keep pinging out where Gragas is, because it's very obvious. It's, see, when you start playing a lot, you kind of just understand the way the people path. You can play around it, make smart moves. We should have had a big advantage, but it's no problem. I myself have an advantage, so I'm going to try and play off that. That's my win condition right now. Condition always drastically changes, especially in the higher elos you get. So, oh, poor. The greed, the greed. Lives at least. Oh, wait, the baits. Oh, lord. That's a funny lane right now. I'm watching. Right, well. Both have no flash. Great job, man. That was really good by the. Olive. Oh, look at that. Double dark harvest axe and a way for me to farm. I don't get full gold, but you get a lot of speed here. I actually left the lane pushing, I don't know if that's good. 
Probably isn't. While our Jesus Emperor sat on his throne, I ensured the survival of our dominion. Okay. Lack of awareness. Gets me a double. Sweet, sweet, sweet. By the way, guys, if you haven't figured it out yet, the form I want to go is blue. It should be obvious. They got pure squishy team. Because look at Gragas' uh, runes. He's taking Predator. So he's going to go squishy. I am level 6. I'm really big. Level 6 at 5 minutes 30 seconds, guys. This is most definitely a great game for the YouTube. This guy is probably like, what the heck? This guy's 6. I didn't need a flash there. I didn't need a flash there. I had him. I hope I'm push. But I'm not going to take all the CS because, you know, obviously. I don't want to set him behind. I'm just going to help him push here. You get that, get that, get that, get that. Okay, one of the Dark Harvest stacks. That's sweet. Almost at our form, lads. Almost at our form. Yeah. I'm gonna clear the topside cams, base, get my... Actually, I think I'll just clear this and then base. I need to be very active on the map here. Very, very active. Oh, the TP. Too ambitious, way too ambitious. Alrighty, boys. So this is an amazing start. Holy guacamole! What the? Kappa? Predator Gragas. If you guys actually don't know who Wiggly is, he's the he ended rank one season seven. So, you know, I'm putting that in the clickbait. You know, I'm putting that in the clickbait. I, I bet when I put season 7 rank 1, a lot of people are going to be thinking Tarzan, but he was season 6 rank 1. The time is fl flown by really quick, huh? It's crazy when I think about it. Good mechanics, but it doesn't really earn him much. Still dead. Alright, well, I got my blue form. That's why I forced that gank right there. Easy as peasy. This is gonna be an amazing video, I think. I'm just demonstrating to you guys how to loot Kane and Challenger, pretty much. I mean, all my games I've played right now for videos have been in Challengers, so I definitely have uploaded other Blue Kane games, but this is just like the most satisfying one I think I've seen. I just play the early form so perfectly so far. Not to, not to um, stroke my own ego, I'm just saying, you know, I'm, I'm hyped for the video. I think this is gonna be great for you guys' viewing experience. Because not only do I find it entertaining. Okay, I didn't have to use my R. That's good. Good, great, great. We can definitely just dive this guy and take top tower. Yeah. So, this is how you get first tower, boys. We're gonna use our R for this one. We don't need cast, we don't need cast. Huh. Okay, bit of an overkill, but whatever. Okay. Good job. Uh, I should have pinged bot lane to be safe. I knew that since we're making a topside play, the Gragas would be bot side. Eh, that's my bad, guys. Oh yeah, that was great. I ulted him immediately because if he W's, then we keep vision of him. So if you guys didn't know that, that's how the interaction with Wukong works. If you uh, ult him and he goes W, you still have vision of him. It doesn't work on Akali, though. So remember that, guys. I had to learn the hard way. I'm teaching you guys the free and painless way.
I'm gonna be really big soon. I don't even have my dust blood. I should run straight down out here, actually. Uh, I think he's dead, actually. Quite unfortunate. Maybe I can clean up back and go. Straight back. There it is. Good job, boys. Alrighty. They play that really well. That Kaisa is, dude. This team is insane, guys. I'm loving it. You guys are, you guys are in for a great video here. I hope they don't FF early. I mean, if they do, that'd be a good title or something. But man, it'd be so fun to see me watch you. You're gonna see me right now with the dust blade at 10 minutes. Oof. Technically 11 if you want to round up, but I had the gold for it at nine. So technically a nine minute dust blade. But either way, watch this damage. If you guys are actually curious about my runes, uh, I took Ravenous Hunter this game by accident. I actually didn't, I don't I don't know, I, I should have went Relentless Hunter, because you know, you always go Relentless Hunter when you think you're going blue, but I was, uh, I think I was getting a drink while I was in queue. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, it was, it was not intended at all. It's not bad, it's really not bad, but blue, blue cane, Relentless Hunter is just way more uh, preferred, just because you could travel around a lot quicker. Obviously, my pathing so far has just been great, so it doesn't even matter. I think he's just gonna try and roam. It's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's just running bot and repeat. That was a good, uh, good movement by Zura, so he didn't knock, get knocked back. Got knocked into the wall. I think we get a double kill here. This guy's a stopwatch though, so we gotta be cautious. I'd say just focus on the Ezreal. There you go. Yeah, so uh, I baited in like I was gonna go on the Gragas, but then obviously I just W'd and then dodged. Thank you. And you know, I'm not trying to take any digs. Guys, don't take any digs at Wiggly. He did finish season seven rank one, and he's not having too good of a game. But a lot of people don't play against Kane. He's used to playing against like meta champions. So I, I personally think Wiggly is a really, really good jungler. Obviously, he ended season seven rank one, and you know that's that's very respectable. And he's been challenger consistently for quite some time. You know, I have nothing but respect for the guy. So I don't want to see people saying like, oh, NA rank ones. I mean, you can. I'm not gonna tell you what to type, but you know, he, he's a really good player. He's a really good player. Any anybody that's challenged you is a good player, so I always find it like just pointless to see players insulting. Some people that are just he's not even having a bad game, it's just I got really snowballed. It's hard to do anything against a smart blue can. Now at that note focus on how to win. I do have a three level lead, which is insanely huge for a jungler, if, as you guys know. Insanely huge. The largest level lead I've had on anybody ever was five. So to be at three in a high challenger game is just nuts. So. It's not worth ulting him because I'm going to die. I have too much shutdown gold. I actually really like the shutdown system. Surprised my auto didn't proc dust blade though. I guess it wasn't on. Either way, um, yeah, he played the rune king and just dodged the W. All right, I think it's definitely time to get a uh, boots. I don't need um, I don't need stork boots because you know a lot of you guys know that I go stork boots a lot. I don't need storks this game because uh, I I just need extra mobility. Since I'm not taking relentless hunter. It's actually hard for me to get around the map, so I just need to be everywhere, and I have I already have enough damage in my burst, so I just need stuff to help me get there quicker, to just kill them faster. You know? So if you guys are wondering why I'm not going Sork Boots this game, obviously. If you guys are wondering, Sork Boots would- what? You don't go down blue cane. Well, actually you do sometimes, if you check out my other videos, I explain it there, but it's because you're passive. Oh, I got the stupid- got the gromp. Yeah, my team's pretty impressed. I mean, I'm playing blue cane. I'm, I'm pretty alright with Wiggly. We used to not like each other at all, season 7, especially when I was 
well known for being a flamer. I've definitely Wiggly was actually the player that beat me the most in season seven. He beat me about 80% of the times, and I played against him like 50 plus times. That's just crazy, but either way, uh. Too quick for you, monkey boy. Yeah, he takes. Oh, I got that Ezreal. <laughs> nice job. Alright, but yeah, uh. Yeah, Wiggly beat me so many times last season, so I was gonna have some playful banter in all chat and be like, yo, dude, mind if I upload this? XD. Uh, nah, I don't think you want to see me type in all chat. GG. Thanks for watching, guys. This was an insanely fun game. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.